Hi everyone, welcome to our Sonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Kat Arguetta, an art teacher from Texas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Sonia Gallery. Hi, I'm Catherine Arguetta and I'm a middle school teacher at Cavazos Middle School in Lubbock, Texas. Today, we'll be working with some symmetry, so come on with me. Today, you are going to need some colored markers, a black permanent marker, a pencil, and two different sizes of paper. I am using a five by five small square and a 10 by 10 big square. The first paper you're going to work with is your small paper. You want to make sure that your small paper fits perfectly four different times on your big paper. So like I said, this is a five by five and this is a 10 by 10. Now on your small paper, you want to pick a corner that you're going to treat as the center of your big paper. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this corner here. Now, from that corner, you are going to create any type of design. It can be abstract or it can look like something. It's up to you. Now, your design can be just as simple as that. It doesn't have to be too fancy because I guarantee you it'll look amazing once we transfer it to your big 10 by 10 paper. Now, once you have your design drawn, you're going to take your black permanent marker and you are going to outline everything. Once you have it outlined, the best thing to do is to line up your square and right where that corner is, mark it on, on your big paper. That's gonna show you where the center is. Now we're going to trace our design. So you're gonna stick your small paper underneath and line it up with your big paper. And because we use that dark black permanent marker, it'll be easy for us to see. All right, so now comes the tricky part. Now, I'm going to take my small square, and because we used a black permanent marker, if we flip it over, you'll be able to see the exact same design reversed. Now, if you can't see that on yours, go ahead and just retrace your design using a black Sharpie. Since I can see mine, what I'm going to do is flip it, and then make sure that I line up my line, my corners with my big paper. And then I'm going to trace them. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to flip it line up my corners and trace again. And then the same exact process. Flip it over, line up the corners and continue tracing. Now that I'm done tracing, just fixing a few lines here. I have this really cool design that looks like it's coming out from the center of my big paper. This is why you needed to make sure that you had your point where the center is on your big paper. Now all you have to do is color in your design. So I'm using markers. You can use markers, you can use colored pencils, crayons, it is completely up to you.
And there you have it. You can choose to color the background if you'd like, but I kind of like the bright colors sticking out on that white background. Thanks for watching. Bye.